Good morning, church family. Pastor Brett here, and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. It's often said you cannot outgive God. It's a true statement that is biblically supported everywhere, yet we still get nervous. We still get nervous about giving things up for God. Perhaps we're asked for a commitment, and we're a bit nervous about what that commitment might mean to our lifestyle. Perhaps we're challenged to give financially, but we don't really think we can afford it. Or perhaps we're called to serve in a way that demands our precious time. And we're not sure if we can afford that either. It's so important in these things when considering serving God and giving in his name that we look not to what we might lose, but rather to what we might gain. The Bible has a lot to say about what's waiting for those who serve faithfully. When sacrifice is something we do in order for God, heaven notices. When we set God as a priority in our planning, God sees that. Jesus talks a lot about reward. And there's a very encouraging verse in particular that I read this week that moved me a lot. I know it well and you'll know it well, but it was good to read it again. It's from Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured out into your lap. The amount you give will be determined by the, will determine the amount you get back. The old concept of sowing and reaping is a big one right throughout the Bible, Old and New Testament. And here Jesus is linking it to giving. Now the context here, if you read this section of the Sermon on the Mount, seems to be giving in terms of the context of relationship, you know, giving of grace and so on. But I think it's a universal principle as well. Jesus is echoing something much deeper than just the grace we give to others in relationship. He's saying if you give, you won't miss out. We need to hear this. If you give your time to God, you won't come up short. If you give your money to God as a priority, you will make ends meet. If you give your heart to God, you won't be disappointed. It will return to you. And Jesus is not talking about just a simple return on investment here. The concept of abundant reward is just beautifully expressed. Look at his language, pressed down, shaken together. You know, it's like you're, you're pouring something into a bucket or a can or something, you know, you put some rocks in and you, you, you know what it's like. You press it and shake it so every little bit fills and then you put in smaller rocks and you press it down and shake it together. It's, it's like you're squeezing every morsel of spare space out of that bucket or container. And this is the image to the point where Jesus talks about it overflowing, overflowing into your lap. I love the fact that God's reward for effort reaches this point where it is so overwhelming that we cannot contain it. I love that. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid in ministry service that you will be depleted. Do not be afraid that in serving God, you will miss out on something more valuable. Do not be afraid that you will ever suffer loss in what you give up for Jesus. Because whatever you do, you cannot outgive God. Let's pray. Father, I'm so thankful that these promises are everywhere in the Bible. So rich is your grace that you pour it out to us. Lord, you invite us to be involved in your work so that you can bless us. And we thank you for that. I'm thankful that your blessings speak not only of our eternal future, but even in this life itself, flowing over your grace in our lives to bless others as well. Pray, Father, that you would teach us to resist all the lies and temptations of the devil who would seek to rob us from this wonderful reward that you have set aside. Thank you for this promise and for this assurance. 
through Jesus Christ. Amen. So keep walking with God. Keep talking with him. Listen to him as you read the Bible. And when he speaks to you, trust and obey. Keep looking for opportunities to bless others. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.